All right, uh, rundown Monday, Final Four Monday. Uh, bring the Fiesta anywhere you go with the all new, uh, all new high noon te tequila Fiesta pack. New flavors, eight pack, variety pack. Two new flavors: blood orange, prickly pear. Both great alongside the two favorites: grapefruit and lime. All are made with real tequila, real juice. Perfect for any Fiesta. Find the high noon tequila seltzer Fiesta pack nearest you at highnoonspares.com. High noon, suns up. Uh, well, the last day here in Phoenix, we leave tomorrow. I'm exhausted, but let's get into the big news. Uh, it's not what's happening on the court. It's what's happening on, off the court. Uh, we start John Calipari going to Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Now, it started with this rumor that our basketball insider, the K, the, your, your A-plus phone, you network out here, you made a mockery of yourself yeah. by instantly being like, this is crazy. What I thought idiot. it was crazy he was going to go. I mean, you, like, what no happened way. when it, the whole world, the whole, the whole college basketball media world is here in Arizona? How is everyone in the whole college basketball world tweeting about it being like, this has real legs, and you're at dinner, and you're like, well, what, was your exact, what was your exact? I couldn't believe he was going to You were like, this is Arkansas. crazy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he tagged Riggs. He's like, this can't There's be There's no true. way, yeah. and very instantly it had legs. So, this guy well, has it, to be it, kidding me, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, very. I believe it. I, well, it doesn't but it make sense. I mean, everyone was Arkansas. reporting but it. Didn't make sense. Let, let's just rewind this for a second. If some of your former enemies or whatever, like a Woj bump, if somebody who considers themselves as in the know as you, a big rumor comes out and they instantly try to decredit it or, or be like, this is crazy. They would be, that would, like if Shams, or if somebody did that, right. you'd that jump on. I would jump with on. them. Yeah, you'd go just, nuts. Or forever. You'd screenshot it and bring it up every day yeah. for the rest of your life. So, right. So, well, it was about eight minutes. Then very quickly after, I was like, uh, well, no, no but it you wasn't you, it, Take but, a look. But but you can't say very quickly after. It was real when it was posted. I couldn't yeah. believe it, it was real when it happened. You made fun of it. I couldn't believe it was real. You took it, they shoved it down your mouth. I couldn't believe it was real when you it was You were eating and everyone else was working. Agreed. So, so, which is what he likes to do on yeah. his trips. Um, oh, my God. He was sitting front row in the Suns game. Yeah. I, I got offered the Suns game. I said, I, I got to work. I got offered the Suns games. Can't, can't do it. Um, so, let me ask you this now before we get into the other. Your credibility as a basketball insider is zero through ten, honestly. What? It's a zero. Two and a half, I would say. No, it's yeah. a zero. Now, the only uh, thing that I could say in defense your of my conference. friend Rico Bosco here is, you could make the argument that he is not in the basketball media world. He's actually in the coaching world. He's a coach, not a media guy. But even then, you would know these. You rooms, would probably right? know because coaches yeah, talk. They kept yes. it under wraps. Well, not really. Well, no. The whole internet knew about it at the exact same time, except for you. Yeah. You were the last to know. I to lunch, Agreed. stuff in your face, probably dropping my name. Um, <laughs> number two, now, this has been an interesting development. So it's ironic. Because when we went to the game yep. on uh, Saturday, I specifically brought up, because I thought Calpari could leave Kentucky. Right. It was rumors. I'm like, well, if he leaves, Nate Oates is probably going. You looked at me. No, they got this contract. He's tied in. He can't go. No chance. I didn't say no chance. No, you did. Oh, you yeah, you said no chance. You did. You, you looked no, at me. Oh, did like, you see him last night? He was throwing out every name except Nato. He's trying to get everyone else to go there. You looked at me like I was an idiot. He stopped the wardrobe. You looked at me like I was dumb, a fool, an idiot. I don't think so. Obviously, Oates is tied to Kentucky. He was tied when they were going to... Looking at Calipari, so I think he's definitely year. going to be the guy. Like I know they have the buyout. What's eighteen million or whatever it is in Kentucky? Honestly, was Kentucky Scott Drew's best friends the AD? I think Scott Drew. I he's think it's going to, the to one, be one. Nate Oates. But let's get into the next question. If sure. it is Nate Oates, you've trashed, trashed Calipari. Trashed. Oh, I have trashed he was, Calipari, and he was the face of BBS okay. for the last fifteen years. And not only that, but you said to me last night that I was poisoning the well for you, implying that Kentucky fans can't think for themselves. So you basically like they're dumb hicks that can't think for themselves. Well, and that brings up the next point. So Dan was all with Matt Jones yep. uh, right. on space. He, he is, always liked. I would say the face of Kentucky Correct. sports, Kentucky University, Kentucky basketball. Um, it's cut, Now, all I said, Dave, by I the think, way, all I said was, listen, when you guys are thinking about your next coach, I just want to point out that Nate Oates has a lot of baggage. I'm not talking about murders. I'm talking about a guy named Rico Bosco. Which is fair. You, That's a fair you thing to say. Steal. Right. So, but now I'll, I'll so see. I'll do Kentucky fans, what's the feedback? They want him. They don't they want do him. They do not want him. Okay. Because he just went to war with, he's, he's been trashing Kentucky. This is the, the ultimate problem that Rico finds himself in. 
he's basically, I, I've actually thought about this enough, Rico, and I, I have a solution for you. I think you need to actually marry Nate Oates because that's the only way you can root for a coach the way you root for a coach. Yeah, if you're part of someone's family, Correct. you can root for a coach. I agree. Everything else doesn't make any sense, so you got to marry him. Uh, and there is an element. Like Alabama basketball. Alabama doesn't have some rich tradition. Correct. They'll take anything they can get. Kentucky, Proud. Blue Bud, number one probably program in the country. You root for generations. Correct. Kentucky. You're smart fans. Yeah. They know yes. basketball. So do they want some some guy like you, some mercenary who's been trashing them? Do they need you? Do they want you? No, they you? do not they need They don't they, need so me, they but we're a package deal. They don't so, want, well, according I, to who, you? I mean, you, you he see just the hugs on the court it. like it's a package deal. What happens? If, so let me ask you this: If Nate Oates gets offered uh, fifteen million dollars a year, let's just throw out hypotheticals. But no, no, no. Goes. But no. But the but let me finish my hypothetical. The AD says, "Listen, fifteen million dollars a year. You get every NIL guy you want. You're the king of Kentucky. You can never talk to that Rico Bosco guy again." Oh, that's... I think he would do it. Okay, yeah, so yeah. he doesn't uh, have the same loyalty to I've had my heart broken before. Yeah. Uh, it is no We doubt. have loyalty to and you. And by the way, uh, this coaching carousel, I could care. Yeah, we do. Uh, too much. Too much loyalty. Remember that? And we get nothing in return, Remember that Dave? time I was in Malibu? Remember that time I was in Malibu? I said, as a friend, I shouldn't hire you because I don't think you can mentally take it. You've improved. But I said, as a friend, the worst thing I can do to you is hire you at Parcel because you can't take it. Turned out I was it. right. You couldn't take it, but you've come back right. a little bit. Shout um, out the, the thing about all this coaching carousel which i'm fine with now with the new nil coach like coaches used to be scumbags when they're moving around because players couldn't do it now it's just it's the complete wild yeah. wild west so who cares i don't care about contract nothing means nothing nothing anymore. who do you think honestly i think it is oh i think it's gonna be i think they're gonna try to get billy donovan yeah the bulls and i i it's been a long time the bulls are college, yeah that's though. the only thing it's the question is do you want to go chase around 18 year olds again uh i do that's also a situation where the Bulls, like Billy Donovan knows, the Bulls are a dumpster fire. Jerry Ryan's are a dumpster fire owner. And so, like, he could be like, look, this is never going to work out. He was assistant coach for Patino when they won at Kentucky. Uh, I think it's Billy Donovan. I think Nate Oates is number two. They're going to call her. And then, I don't yeah, think, I, I think Hurley will. They're really going to call her. I agree. Right, fine. Then you can call a lot of people. You can call, they didn't call anyone. There's yeah. no chance. I don't see any chance in hell. That Hurley would go to because I don't think so either. UConn is a is a power. Well, not only that, but you what do you get when you go to Kentucky? You obviously get the name, the 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 fan base, the best job in, in college He's basketball, but you also get the the heat turns up on you right away. Yeah. He if he wins tonight. He can he can coach at UConn forever, yeah, and no one would say I, I anything. So he's got that lease already, and he's a fit at UConn. Yeah, he's and, a Northeast and, guy, and, and we're living in an era, to be totally honest, where the best job in basketball it doesn't in the NIL era it really doesn't mean nothing. Yeah, this like, is the one job though that when it opens, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's like this UNC it, yeah. in like Kansas. Yeah, I, I Duke though is it Duke. I guess we'll see because Shire obviously has got some great recruits and they have a tradition. But Duke, you can, the one thing you can say about Kentucky that's different than Duke is Kentucky is bigger than a coach. They've been doing it for a very long time. They've won seven out of their eight national titles weren't Cal. Duke is a coach. Duke was a coach. Yeah, right? I, I see. Duke. I just view things, I guess, and I'm certainly biased. I agree with everything you're saying about Kentucky. But what that speech, I feel like, is the ultimate disrespect once again to really the Big East and East Coast basketball because if oh I don't think Hurley would go no I agree I, but but I yeah so I don't think that translates to like if you look who's dominated college yeah, yeah. basketball for the last tw Villanova it's, UConn it's the Big Twelve and the Big East and and the Big East has like all the way from the eighties the sense of like East Coast Coaching. Northeast yeah it's bigger Coaching personalities like, like it's bigger I, I I just hope they don't call I hope they don't try to reach out today. Because that would annoy me. I, I, would, I, 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 I would hope they had more class. class I, don't, than that. I don't think there's That's a, bullshit. I don't, they they do. may not even, because I, there's no chance he's going. Like he's the king. But you, of but you do have to call. Yeah. Uh, you have to call. Have and to it's call. a hang up. He may, right. he may hang up. Like UConn is that big. It, UConn is. I one, agree. They've, they've, and and more, it's one of those things where the way the Big East is now, you're getting Boston, you're getting New York City. It's not just UConn. You're the yeah. mecca of. It, it was Villanova J, right? So I. I Yes, olden times when you can recruit and cheat. Now UConn is the number I mean, one the last, college basketball it, it, power it, it, in the last it, twenty years. Yeah, if they win tonight, and they'll they have would, six yeah. championships. Yeah, it's crazy. In so years, where which else is more more than they? I'm pretty sure, even going back to 1980, Indiana, UCLA. No, it's a power no, it's, combined. 
It's mo- it, it would be the third most. It, 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 UCLA yeah. has 11, Kentucky has eight, and no. if UConn won tonight, they'd have six. So what, like, what, right. what, what in, I'm even saying the, some can, of the blue bloods, yeah. you know There's what I mean? nothing Kentucky can do better than UConn at basketball. Yeah, no, no I, I agree. So, so, so I think it comes down to Billy Donovan and Nate Oates, and then if they strike out both those, then I don't know where they go. I mean, then it's Scott Drew, but I, Matt Jones is pretty, like when we had him on a couple weeks ago, he was like, the thing about Kentucky's coach is – they kind of have to be a rock star about them. Right. You know what I mean? And they have to have that, like, shit to them. Yeah, yeah, right. Where they can't just be, like, Scott Drew's a little bit yeah, of a I plain agree. guy. Like, I if agree. you want to go get the best coach in America, I think Dana Altman at Oregon is one of the best coaches. He would never fit in. Right. The, the other question with this new age, like, when you say Donovan, Billy Donovan, can, and this is a more metaphor, metaphorical question, can a college coach – coach without being directly involved in the NIL like right. and they said because what idiot would ever like why would you ever want to go deal with that right that that and the transfer portal yeah, and right. just every like, year it, now if you just say hey we have somebody who can do all of that for you you don't have to worry we're gonna get you the best players coach them but I mean that's why that's why uh Jay Wright left yeah, yeah. And, and that's why and coaches that's don't want to do it I think that's, that's why of, left and too. that's kind of why Cal went to Arkansas like the other part of this is Arkansas immediately becomes I mean, Arkansas is a, a Top fifteen job without Cal. They they are they have tradition. They have money. They have I all did these see, things. I think uh, um, mostly soft. There, Titus tried to say Arkansas is now a basketball school, which is nuts. That's nuts. They would cut their all their hands off. There. I don't know that forty minutes of hell. No, no, but nineties. Uh, yeah, with Nolan Richmond, but the, yeah. that school. Would cut yeah, all yeah, their yeah. limbs off I agree. to win SEC, but they're football. closer to a ba- they're closer to like a split than a Kentucky or an oh, Alabama. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's they're mediocre yeah, yeah. at both. Yeah, they're they're, they're way closer to a split. But, but yes, and his but because just because they that's just because Arkansas hasn't dominated. Right, anything, right. right. Like, but, but I, I just think that how, fan base one. Do you remember yeah. when Arkansas starts getting good? Like yeah. they are they nuts. Mud Walls is an awesome play, but the the Cal now gets. He's going to get all the money in the world for the NIL. He's going to get basically a new lease because he was done. Yeah, you get the pressure the pressure right. off you. That's no. the other thing. People were like, oh, what, this is a rude awakening for, for Kentucky. Kentucky has sucked the last four years. Yeah, They've exactly. won one tournament right. game, and they haven't won an SEC regular season. It is order. odd because you'd think Cal would be, like, so perfect for NIL. Well, he, he has been. The problem is... He's been getting 18-year-olds, and everyone else yeah. has been getting 23-year-olds, and he doesn't coach. Yeah, he but, just rolls the yeah, ball out. Yeah, yeah. And I he mean, gets, that, he, but that's how he was winning. But, yeah, his know. team this year has, uh, what, four draft yeah. picks on it? Yeah. yeah. And, and they couldn't do anything. But so and he's, it, got a, he's got four more McDonald's All-Americans next year. So what is the plan, though, Rico? Because I really want – like, you should be – if you were as big of a Nate Oates fan as you, as you claim to be, you would be happy for Nate Oates. Instead, you're kind of just thinking about Miko Bosco being like, how do I fit into Big Blue Nation? Yeah, I think I don't know. Like I, if if that is true, because right? Because like, if you want, he it's easier to win at Kentucky. Right. Than it is at Bama. Like if Dave called me up and was like, "Hey, I'm 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 leaving. Point. Someone offered me a billion dollars. I wouldn't be like, oh man, now I got to think. I'd be like, that's incredible. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. But instead, you're just thinking about yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if we checked the phone. Like, how do I fit in? Yeah, like, right. That's not a congrats. He's like, hey, like, just keep me in mind yeah, right. for this whole decision. Like, like Blue Nation doesn't it, it, love me. I, being honest, I do think, although Matt Jones is the expert, not me, Rico can, because Kentucky fans are going to fucking hate Cal Park. Right. So his, Nobody well, I, I told yeah. you he was an asshole. I told you he was an asshole. I told you, now that we got big, the big bad wolves out of here, so he can spin that. I've also offered to Rico. And so who's the savior? My guy. P- like. PFT and I uh, host Kentucky Sports Radio once a year. When Matt Jones goes on vacation, I've offered to Rico that we will have him on for the entirety of the show oh. that we host, and we'll do the history of Rico Bosco, good, bad, ugly. Okay. Well, there All we go. Of it. There we Introduce go. you to BBN. There okay. we go. That's huge. All right. Also, shout out Jack Golke. The legend continues. Why? He ended Cal. He just ended him. <laughs> like, oh, if they yeah, cover, yeah, yeah, if they yeah, cover yeah, Jack yeah, Golke, none of this happens. 100%. It's crazy. Uh, final four game tonight. Dan, you said you had issues with me. I do have. So uh, we'll set the stage. I think everyone knows Dan. Uh, great bet. 14-1. Can win 150 grand. I did pre-tournament. Also, a great bet. A lot more to win. A lot more to risk for me. 600K to win. Uh, 2.1. I actually have another 50 at a competitor, so it's a little more. Um, I, I've said I'm not going to hedge. You have issues. I I'm not. I'm not going to hedge either. I don't I want know. Down the I don't know what your issues are with me. Well, 
I have issues not all with you. The yearbook scares me. How's that my problem? Not your problem. I'm just saying it scares me. scared the fuck out of me. scares the fuck so out of me. So we immediately saw me, that. Yeah, what year? Somebody I sent me. Say that. I didn't see it originally. They're like, a kid has a yearbook quote, Purdue's going to win the national championship 2024. I couldn't tell how old this was. Like, if he just did it this year, I didn't care. It's easy. He did it four years ago. Now, I don't know if he knew that. Whatever. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Heard it here first. Boiler up, baby. Uh, my issue with that's you. That's not my fault. No, that's not your fault. That one's not your fault. My issue with you is the Hurley's asked to see Mrs. Peaches last night, and you were planning on going to show, bring Miss Peaches to the Hurley's, and you bailed because Miss Peaches was tired. I understand Miss Peaches is a star. She needs her, she needs her Me sleep. Me too. It's 9.45 p.m. They Do you think that juju, though, like, I needed the Hurleys to get Ms. Peaches some, some Ms. Peaches Listen, love. There's two thoughts. You had to be thinking about the bigger yeah, thing. No, Dave. I was. There was two things I was thinking. First, very late for us. We're waking up 4 35 a.m. She was tired, didn't want to do it. Maybe not a good mood. Second, their mascot's a husky. I like mixing dog breeds. I thought about it. Okay. It's like the dog, like, is Peaches trying to take over for the, like, imagine if Peaches, they, they meet Peaches and then lose. Yeah. I got to give back peaches. Okay. Like, I got to okay. knock right. I feel good about that. Door. Like, okay. so I gave it some thought. Be like, hey, whore, her peaches, like, but if she was a husky, 100% yeah, I'd go do it. Yeah, then you got to go. But yeah. pit bull, husky, okay. late, okay. I don't know. So right. it, it, I was planning on it. It got me a little scared, just because, like, you need to get all the good juju going. You don't think there's something to mixing mascots? I agree with you. That makes sense what you're saying, but I just... I was a little disappointed in the moment. The Do you know how much pressure that would have put on Ms. Peaches? And me, like, meeting <laughs> them the night before. A lot, a lot. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that made me confident, we were at Top Golf last night, and uh, there were some stoolies next to us, UConn guys, probably, like, in their mid-20s, and a couple Purdue guys come up to them, older, and the Purdue guys are starting to talk, and they're just like, you know, like, we're just, it, this is just an incredible ride for us. It's not about the destination. It's not. It's about the journey. Yeah. And these UConn guys are just looking at him like, "What the fuck yeah, are you right. talking about?" Yeah, that, like, that's when that's we're when like, they, we're here to win it, a championship. It's a losing yeah. season for yeah. UConn for sure. Uh, listen, I, I, I'm not hedging because I feel the same way. I thought the entire tournament. Now, Zach E. Yeah, he's he's a different cat. I do think he's going to be st like if if. If uh, Kling Kong and the other backup center can even go eight, like 60 40 advantage ED, even 65, I think UConn kills them. I don't even think it's about clinging on ED for like post touches because I think ED will score whatever. The thing that Purdue always kills teams with is every single time they shoot like a mid range jumper and miss, it's basically a pass to ED. Yeah, right. So Marie. that is what, if you t eliminate that, that is a big part of their offense and he, he, Always puts those back. He, I, I mean, I've watched a lot of Purdue this year. It's miss shot, dunk every yeah. single time. So if you can just stop that, I think their offense struggles. I, I also think the UConn guards are just that's what they're, I, they're so much better. bigger. Yeah, that's that's what I think. So people have been like, how are you not doing six hundred uh, spread with Purdue or money line just no to hedge. do? It. It's like no six hundred grand is so much money. I don't like no I, I don't bet that. But that's no a hedge. huge bet for me. So to throw like I think if. If I didn't have this, I would have put 500 grand, maybe even more on UConn spread. Spread, right. So that I love UConn, so why would I hedge it? What so. are you doing tonight? What? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm doing as I'm told. Sometimes you act like you you don't even know we're on the rundown. I'm doing so as I'm told. Yeah, 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 I'm doing as I'm told. No, I want you to do Rico. I why would you, you start doing as you're told when like you've been... This is, you've been the bell of the ball. Yeah, this I is think Rico's UConn, final four. You gotta do what I you gotta UConn, do. I think UConn wins. I bet UConn small. Okay, and, and so you'll be rooting for UConn. I'll be rooting for UConn. So you, it's small, so you think it, it could be a tight game then. You don't love it. I worry about the ED whistle. Yeah, I really do. All right. Uh, Great is, matchup. Yeah. Probably the most hyped since uh, the Gonzaga. most hyped. Absolutely. Baylor Gonzaga. These two teams have been 1-2 the whole year. Um, women's Final Agreed? Four. I was. It was a massive final. Adam Morrison agrees as well. Uh, where did he go to school? Uh, I think he went to Pepperdine. Oh, okay. Women's Final Four was yesterday, final game. Uh, South Carolina, just too big, too deep um, for Iowa. It sucked, but you look at the stats, 37-0, I think, bench points. 
rebounds, like 46 to 20 something. Um, there's a lot of controversy around Caitlin going into the game because people come out of the woodwork. Diana Taurasi, uh, Brianna Stewart. Um, Old head. Old head, yeah, the former women's basketball leader saying she didn't have a record broken because she didn't play with a man's ball and two point. I will say. Why did she need to do this right after the game? I, she did before the game. That was before the game. Before the game, that's even worse. Are you online? Like, yeah, what have you been doing this weekend? You were, I mean, you were late to Cal. You don't even know yeah, that this no, quote no. was happening. I knew Friday. the quote was out there. But the what? thing, have you noticed? So the game, I thought. Caitlin would have had to go. She gets gassed, which because there's other good players in Iowa, but they're no, just, but there, you wouldn't. It someone made a good analogy, and I hate to give him a compliment, but it was similar to the 2016 Cavs versus. Yeah, Lakers, I saw that. Where yeah. it's like if you had if you put if you had Iowa's team on South Carolina's roster, how many girls get meaningful minutes? It's Caitlin Clark. Right. That's it's, it. Exactly. Yep. That is so. Um, I will say. Different, I noticed a lot of these women, maybe I'm wrong, I don't think have ever been put on the blender in social media because right. they all retracted. Correct. Like they all came back and were like, uh, Caitlin this, Caitlin that, all after the game. It's like, ugh, the first time they've ever, like this woman has probably never give, given a speech that anybody cared about in her life. Right. Uh, even Tarasi, who's been the spotlight, um, Sue Bird, they all were kind of like, oh, no, just kidding, we love it. So the only one I saw who, who had the right take from the jump um, was, uh, who's the big big woman from UConn? Lobo. 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 Lobo was like, I don't know what these women are doing. Like, I know what you're saying. You be play great defense. Don't be dirty. Don't be mean. All you've done is complain how you want charter flights, bigger salaries. Like, this is your golden goose. Like, right. what are you doing? Yeah, right. right, and Don Staley also. Yeah, that was end. great. Yep. That yeah. was a great speech. Yeah. She was kind of, I didn't like her the way she, I always have liked Dawn Staley. I didn't like how she handled when they lost last year to Iowa. I thought she kind of made a race thing, which was nuts. She was very good, very gracious after the defeat. Um, great, great career. Great career. Nothing else to say about it. I'm excited to see her in her next steps. Um, Indiana Fever. A little bit. I mean, no rings. For her. Yeah, Larry Bird. No rings. It's Larry Bird. Larry Bird and four plumbers took it to. Uh, the yeah, finals. I know. You wouldn't say Larry Bird's the best college player of all time. Oh, he's one of them. He's up there. Yeah, he might be up there, but he's not the best. Yeah, I think you could argue. I just want to. I just want to do a rings debate. Goal I just want to do a rings debate. Who is the go-to in college? Um, I mean, would it be like Bill Walton or Kareem? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, those are both up Hansborough. there for sure. But. I mean, I, well, I think if, was I'm not, awesome. if I'm not mistaken, Psycho T was has, awesome. I, Indiana State's never won a tournament game. To never win a tournament game, and it, with the exception, and you go to the finals. That's, yeah, no, I was just, I just want to do the rings. Uh, WrestleMania. I, I, <laughs> I loved wrestling growing up. Same. I no longer like wrestling. I am fascinated, and maybe I'm just that's it. I'm getting close to fifty. I watch it. The reactions, the love, the surprise. Just, I was reading just comments the way people talk about it. Like, if you were an alien and you came down, you would have absolutely no idea it's fake. Like, none. Like, the, it, it, it's. Yeah, I love that, in, though. That's my favorite part about wrestling. Like, Cody Rhodes, this was a whole storyline. Can you leave line. on that five minute video? Or what's the, the storyline of Cody Rhodes and, like, having everyone come out and help him? The Undertaker, Undertaker just showing pops. up out of nowhere. I the love Rock. The Undertaker. Well, The Rock was the heel. Right. The Rock was there, though, I'm saying. Well, well but yeah, everyone was, knows, like, yeah, he, he was, was the main guy. Yeah, Undertaker was not. He right. just showed up. He just showed up. But everyone else showed up to help Cody Rhodes, and it was, it was cool. I saw that one clip. Did you see that kid uh, that Robbie posted? No. That was my favorite. If you can find Robbie's tweet, that's, that's what it's all about. Like, that's why I love wrestling. I, I, we went to WrestleMania. It was the worst event I've ever gone to live. I had to leave it early. You left in five kid. minutes, right? This kid.
he just like he and his mom watching it. And he starts crying, and he's like, "They all came and helped him. They all came and helped him." Like that's the best. I yes, love but it. I, I get that. He's crying, he's I get crying. that. That kid, I'm that kid cry. thinks Santa's real. I know. What I don't so get, great. what I don't get, I is the 34-year-old who's doing the same. I don't exact know. I believe in thing. something. I know it's good. crazy. Male soap opera. I get it. That, Look at this. Like this is so uh, great. I literally almost cried when I saw that video. It, it is. <laughs> it is something. I mean, it, the, the way people really talk about it, like is that. Yeah, that important, but yeah, the view it, is crazy. People are saying I, I saw people on my timeline saying it, it was the best event in anything ever, in anything ever. It was funny that Cal was happening right at the same time. It was just like it was a peak. We we don't get it very often because Twitter has just become like you know nudes in bio and like Telegram right. and crypto. Uh, but it was one of those nights where you're like, this is great. It is something, and, and like I said, <laughs> that time we went, so the reason for, and I, like I said, I can sort of like it, storylines, whatever, I used to love it, I still love the old clips, watch it growing up, live, when there's, you can't hear the announcers, it's horrible, Yeah, horrible, I just couldn't, I couldn't even say, yeah, you were out in like five minutes, right? Quick. Yeah. I still, that's the favorite wrestling moment yeah. we've ever had is, and that was when Undertaker was undefeated and we were in the airport after and he lost and somebody just had the huge glitter sign. Yeah, like, 21 and 0. Yeah, yeah, it was like so sad. Yeah. Um, Eclipse Mania, that's the last thing. Today's the Eclipse. We don't really hit it here in Phoenix that solidly. Um, I'm not an Eclipse guy, I'm sorry. No. People doing Eclipse parties. Sunsets out here are beautiful. I also don't believe the hype. Trump, when he looked right at it, I've read a lot of things about pets. I believe everything about pets now. Um, shout out, I met with Hershey's, by the way. I'm trying to get some change in the dog world on that drug. But uh, I, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not an Eclipse guy. The, uh, That's the funniest picture ever. Yeah, you just rock on the You know how stupid Hillary Clinton is? She tried to use this as an attack on it. I know. It's like... So like the manliest thing you can do is look at right in the sun. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what are you doing? There's a lot of things you can attack him for, but him being like, I'm going versus Eclipse, mano y mano, raw dog in it, is something that you got to respect. Yeah. Uh, our guy Jerry's in a little bit. of He hasn't slept in 29 hours, he said. Because of the attack? Uh, the cyber attack and the Eclipse, a lot of things going on. <laughs> I told him don't sleep because that's what they want you to do. Maybe that's – he should actually – have his own Alex Jones type show. It, 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 it would, would be, be, be provocative. Be like three, like weird time, like three seventeen a.m. or something. He yeah, on for for like twenty five minutes. Yeah, I know too much, but don't. If that makes sense, it makes none, but perfect for him. Well, again, and he's on sleep deprivation, which I I specifically told him if you go to sleep, they're gonna win because they'll re they'll reprogram they his gotcha. brain. I'm trying to think. People always ask what's shtick, what's not shtick. I, no, I, he's for real. Yeah, for that stuff he yeah. is. There's yeah. other stuff like sometimes obviously he knows they're doing, but this stuff no. No, he's um, he's all the way in. He sounded like he hadn't slept too. All right, well, that's it. Get bit the biggest bet of my life tonight. Doesn't even feel real. I'm also tired. I took Adderall for the first time in a long time. I don't know why I don't have the same uh, right now feeling I did on the Michigan game. Maybe because it's I won since sure then. Team. It's also. It's, well, no, I I answered. I know why. Why? Because if I lose this. I'm back even since the Michigan game. Yeah, so you're up. The right. Michigan game, I literally wired a million dollars into right. my account. So right. it's like I lost. Also, oh, we haven't talked about it. We have the parking lot game, Tate. Yeah. Took it. What's the score? It doesn't start till 2. Okay. You, I, what is going on what, with you, I, Are you three, remotely? What time is it? Are you just here. You're just uh, thinking about BBN? Is no. that only thing in your have brain you right now? anything? You, you're 12, like 12 one, 2 It's 2 in the East. All right. I was. What, not, what is close. up with you? I'm what is up with the start time? Yeah, I know. What is up with you though? I'm close to is the it, start is it, time. Is it Kentucky? You're worried about Kentucky? Yeah. Have you talked to Nate? It, uh, text me today. What did you say? Today. Well, I had texted him after the loss. Well, so then you can't say he texted me today. You texted him first. After the loss, Saturday night. And then what did he say? And he texted me back. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll be back next year. We're gonna win it. Hashtag BBN. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait till you see these facilities. Yeah, so Tate, first of all, his family is like the most Midwestern. His mother has the most Midwestern haircut I've ever seen. His dad is like saying she, he can't have more than five beers. You see the video, he's like, it doesn't yeah. count, it's not done. But I, what do you say, 17 and 0? And, and now people are saying Indians versus Guardians. Oh, White Sox stink, though. 
This bet. guy has a 10 point ERA, raise minus 270. We bet on too. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't know that. Minus, he's 10 point something ERA versus a guy who hasn't pitched yet. It's that was one of those of ones I put it in and I didn't even think. Like you would text me, are you going to play it? And I'd already played it. I watched the original video of us talking, talking about when he told us and we didn't really know who Tate was and your reaction was actually hilarious because you were kind of zoned out. Yeah. And then you're like, wait, the Cleveland Indians? <laughs> <laughs> like, you got very serious. Yeah, about. like, all right, we're going to bet uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Go. I so. mean, you know, I mean, we had... Yeah, this is a no-brainer. But he I says he hasn't missed a home opener in 26 years. Yeah, that part, in that I part of the video, you. there's I a agree little... With you. I'm back. I agree with, with you. Me and Tate are good, but it's, there's a little hairiness to this. He's 17 and 0. Wait, he said he, he, he no, I think what he originally said was 17 and 0 in his last 17 Indian home games. Okay. Because he did say that he has been, hasn't missed a home opener in a long time. 26 years or something. Yeah, so but I think it, it was 17. This is, and and t- listen. Tate has to understand this is a tone setter. Yeah. It's also, I'm betting as it's, though it's, I won. Tonight. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's a tone setter. I did it as well. It's so like, oh, like, I, I just won 2.1 yeah. million. What's the difference between two if I lose Here, this? If I lose off. this, I just lost a gigantic, idiotic bet. Right. Go to the Probably the, the dumbest bet I've ever made. Go to the Tate of the Union. It's, I think, a tweet right above. <laughs> or that. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's in there. Yeah. All right, I'm going to address this one time. Because as soon as I announced last night that I was going to opening day today, I got more DMs than I've ever gotten in my entire life, and they're all the exact same. Is your dad going to the game? 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 For those of you that may be unfamiliar with why so many people are asking, watch this. I will say, Ohio Tate, did you see that blog he wrote today? No. That his dad is like 17-0 and and is going to Indian home games, and he's going today. Oh, four o'clock first pitch. Wait, the Cleveland Indians? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As he goes yeah. for the ball. Yeah. 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 At first, you're just kind of kind of listening. Yeah, now like, wait, what? <laughs> Turn down a winner, yeah. and also you have a you have someone to blame. Maybe like, it was that year. Yeah. I think it was that. Just watch year. what his dad says. So you want to know if he's going to the game today? Haven't missed one in 26 years. And I got my lucky parking spot today. Oh, oh. Yeah. I think he was 17. 20. Hey. Hey. Hello? Hey, we're on the we're on the rundown right now. When your dad said he hasn't missed an opening day in, in what was it, 27 years? 26 years, yeah. What is his record on opening day? Uh, do you want me to ask him? Yeah, but what's the streak? Has he got a streak going right now? or is he, this... he, went, he went 17 straight games back when I tweeted that, and he won the 18th. But they have not won 26 straight opening days. But what, That's what I thought. Has he lost, well, has since, he the lost since the streak? Yeah, yeah he's, he's lost a game since he went 18 in a row. Oh, no. But, but no, listen, listen, listen. I talked to him, and I said, I said, Dad, do you feel good? Can I tweet this out? I'm like, damn. And Dave, we're going to text this. And he said, lock it in. He said okay. he got his lucky All right. parking spot. All right, lucky, lucky parking, parking spot. spot. Yeah, yeah, lucky. Right, I hope lucky parking spot. Well, d- does he know that I put 100 grand on it? Yeah, Dave put a Minus grand. 270? Yeah. All right. I feel good about it. He feels good about it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I, he doesn't get it. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Well, he's drunk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he got here at 9 in the morning. <laughs> today, yeah. Man. Yeah, he feels good. All right. Okay. All right. Good luck. We'll talk to you later. All right, see ya. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, he's drunk. Yeah. All right, well, that'll be an interesting. There's no is, better vibes than by the way. Day. I do think they're. This may sound dumb, but if they lose, yeah. uh, UConn's losing. That's why I said they're related. Oh. It's a tone setter. This yeah. sets the table for UConn. I almost should. I eesh. can't yeah. cash out now. I know. That's always just thinking. You can't cash, cash out. out I'd, now. I'd lose ten grand right bang. You can't cash out now. Uh, get, uh, you know we're small for All right. <sighs> that's the rundown. All right.